P-Pods are short films used to support primary teachers in teaching sport in school. I'm going to use my Teacher Learning Academy presentation to find out if pupils' motivation and performance is improved as a result of using P-Pods. Nigel Palmer is the deputy head at Manor Park School in Coventry. He's been making pea pods for 18 months with Ken Adamson, the local authority sports advisor. Ken's involvement with primary schools and Nigel's research at his own school revealed the need for improved teacher support in sport, which inspired them to make the films. P has moved on and it's now called cool sport rather than primary games. And we want teachers to have access to um, quality material to support their teaching. Now Nigel is keen to find out just how effective their films are and has chosen to do this using the framework of a Stage 1 TLA presentation. We've done quite a few pea pods now. We've done nine gymnastics, we've done some cricket and we've done some hockey and now we're just starting on basketball. Right, so get the spot here, OK? What I hope to get from the TLA personally uh, is reflection on the video process and the impact in terms of teaching and learning. The reason you would choose TLA as an accreditation is because at the moment it's the only one I know of that will give you recognition for the ordinary work you're doing within the class and the everyday work you do in your classroom that every teacher does. I'm at the early phases of my stage four but certainly it's giving me um, uh, something to aim for for this year. I'm, I'm excited about it. The great thing about it is it's the teacher's choice. The learning focus is what the teacher would like to look at in their own practice. If you've been teaching for as long as I have, or maybe even more, some things just come automatically, and the TLA does provide you with a way of taking a step backwards and looking at yourself as a teacher, and how your work as a teacher has affected the children. Saturday, but, um, but they weren't up, but they're up now. Ken has worked closely with Nigel creating the pea pods, so it seemed natural that he would take on the role as Nigel's TLA coach. I've worked for a number of years with Ken Adamson, who's the PE advisor for the city, and obviously he goes around to a lot of primary schools providing support and running inset. In a way, the important bit isn't so much the ball going in the hoop, it's the backspin and, and, all, and, and skills are, are associated with that. Today they're filming a basketball pea pod, and they need to ensure they clearly show the most effective way to shoot. I think we need to do some work with the actual hand on the ball. Yeah. Um, the bit I find they have a problem with is actually releasing it so that it comes off, off the back of the fingers. So often they start with both hands round yeah. the ball instead of just the one round yeah. the back and the other one but supporting. It, but when you get into that, it's about getting the yeah. shoulder in yeah. as well. Now, these are beginners, so I'm not, yeah. I'm not expecting it to be the best shot. Working with him on his TLA fits nicely into my role. It's almost a two-for-one situation uh, where I can, I can support the school. I know that it's helping him in what he needs to do and move him forward. Um, and from the two of us, we're producing a really worthwhile resource. It's really useful having Ken as a co-coach because um, we are able to bounce ideas off each other, particularly during the filming. Um, we both see things um, and we both change as we're going through it, so it's, it's invaluable really. If ever I'm going to give a hot tip to a teacher who's going through the TLA, I'd say, look at the criteria and really read simply what the criteria is asking for. The framework um, provided by the TLA did give me a, a focus, it gave me a time frame, a time scale to work to. It didn't just look at the start and finish, but also the learning journey as well. You just must get yourself organised. Uh, I don't think there can be anything hard about it. You just need to focus and, you know, if it's something if you're really enthusiastic about it, it's not hard, is it? To make the pea pod, Nigel and Ken are filming with four children who are talented all-rounders and have shown a particular interest in basketball. I don't mind if it doesn't go in all the time. I'm looking to see what the shot is like. Swish. Right, in this particular P 
Peapod that we're filming. Um, Ken's doing the coach, I'm doing the filming. And, and when we've done the Peapods over the last 18 months, we never really talk about the roles we take. They just sort of seem to evolve. What we're trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that we get a good shot from you because you're one of the ones I'm going to really get a nice close up with. OK? That's it. Now push up. Lovely, right. OK? Uh, in this particular case, Ken's a basketball coach. He got a clear picture in terms of this shooting film. Um, so he sort of moved into that role. Very short again. Last time. Come on, you can do it. I know you can do it. Yes! What's been really interesting is that we see their level of performance really go up quite steeply. Uh, and obviously for them, it, it raises their self-esteem as well. Let's do it again, Jamie. Hold it first. All right, don't look at the camera, all right? OK, now take your shot. Good. It's interesting when you look at it, you can see their feet are in the right place. There's a little jump step. They're snapping their wrist. All the things that we've been coaching, they're now doing it. That's fine. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> For Nigel's TLA presentation, he wants to find out how the budding basketball players found the experience. When we go into basketball next time, are you going to be more confident when you get into a game? Are you going to think when you get into that position, yeah, I'm going to be able to score? I've got a lot more confidence that I, I can shoot a lot of baskets now. What about you, Vera? I can feel that I'm putting more power into the shots now that, so right. that I'm scoring more. So that stretching your arm up has made a difference, has it? And using your, using your legs as well? Yeah. What about you, Molly? Um, I've improved on... What, the way you hold the ball. Yeah. I was, I was putting that at the front right. instead of at the side. OK, and you're getting more power, aren't you, now, as well? Yeah. As Nigel and Ken watch back the footage, it's the ideal time to reflect on how the intensive coaching session went. Right, now look at that as a position for yeah. the hand. OK. Yeah. Even there, you see, you've got the arms, haven't you? Look, yeah. you know. Individually, all four showed tremendous progress, didn't yeah. they, through the course yeah. of this morning? Well, every time we do one, even though we know that that intensive coaching is going to move the children on big time, we're still surprised at how much it does. So what we've got is we've got right at the beginning of the session and then at the end of the session, hopefully, the improvement. Yeah, of it. yeah, arm straight yeah, up. Yeah, absolutely. Great, Brilliant. You see? Brilliant. That's, that's what we do it for. Yeah. As part of the TLA reflection process, Nigel writes up his thoughts about how it's gone so far. As far as my TLA is concerned, the impact on the gifted and talented pupils um, was, was clearly very positive. They knew they'd grown in confidence and they were able to articulate the one particular skill where they felt they'd improved. I did think that teachers would think it was another load of paperwork. Um, and particularly for the writing up of the assignment at the end, because as soon as you mention writing up of an assignment, everybody sort of goes, we don't want to do that. We're not asking for lots of bits of paperwork. We're encouraging a lot of multimedia presentations and submissions from teachers. What we're looking for is evidence of the teacher's learning. The amount of work involved at level one, it's something that can be done fairly quickly. I mean, really in a couple of sessions of PPA, if you're reflecting on a project you've already done like your NQT year. We spoke to teachers involved in other schools about the process and they were able to provide advice and support and um, confirm that it wasn't such a hard job to do and that in fact it was well worth doing. Let's do some stretching out. Why are we stretching out, Oliver? Today, Helen Smith's Year 5 class are doing gymnastics. Let's, let's um, balance ourselves by putting our arms on, one of our, on the outstretched one at the front. It's the perfect opportunity for Nigel to try out his forward roll pee pod. I want you to think about the different positions in the forward roll. Then we'll get some mats out, and then with your partner, you want to be looking at those different positions. All right. He wants to take part of the lesson to find out what impact his videos have on pupil performance and motivation. What we're going to do is we've got three portable handheld devices, all with the forward roll on, which you're going to be able to use and share.
I'm using the peapod to get the children to focus on the different parts of the skill. So at the moment we're looking particularly at straight legs because it's important they look at one thing at a time rather than four or five things. We can see other people that have done it right and then we can like copy them. Yeah. We can like learn from them. Yeah. Okay, right, let's have a go at it. You've seen the picture. Now go and stand up and have a go. To have something that you can rely on to show properly focuses my teaching because I can actually see and then I can explain what's happening to the children. So it does give me a good framework to work from. Well done. Absolutely brilliant. That was superb. Yeah, it's folding you. Yeah, it is folding you. Only the back yeah, of the like it's like chewing it. Yeah, okay. so it's, it's really good to see the children using the handheld devices because they're focusing on that video clip and they're using technology that they're comfortable with. It also relates to the personalised learning of the individuals that some children learn much better by looking at a video than having it explained to them in words. What was the advantage, do you think, of using the video to show you the skill? Teachers can't show us what to do, and we can, like, pause yeah, the people. Yeah, point. look at the exact bit which we need when to work on. You yeah. can't, like, pause the teachers while they're doing it. Is see. it better for a start? Yeah. OK, so what better. makes it better? Because the teacher can't actually do it in front yeah. of you, so you can, like, see what other people have done it. And right. learn from them, yeah, right. and stuff. Okay. Well, I think I improved on all of it because before I came, I couldn't actually do a forward roll. The TLA made me focus on a different way of working and this had a really positive impact on the children in my class and it's something that I will take with me so my teaching will change in future years. People are starting to reflect, they're thinking about what they're doing, they're thinking about making a difference to the children's learning which is obviously what we're all about and at the end of the day that's where we want to see the impact happening. I've definitely become more reflective um, as a result of doing TLA. Well, I started to really reflect on well, exactly what, I'm, what is the objective here, you know, what is my aim and uh, how can I make it better to really achieve that aim. Reflective practitioners have an impact on their students because people who can think about their own work, think about their own planning, their own strengths and weaknesses and plan towards that, that has an obvious impact upon the students because you're a better teacher if you can think about what you're doing as you go along and um, obviously the students are going to benefit from your continued learning and your continued practice as a teacher. Teachers think that the TLA definitely makes them better practitioners but more importantly that their students become better learners and really that's the most important thing. In terms of what I've learned and what the TLA enabled me to do was to see the peapods in action. It's emphasised that these videos are really powerful ways of enhancing teaching and learning. Every time we create a peapod, we learn something about the filming, but it's the first time I've really been able to sit in and question them about how they've used it, and so from my point of view, that's been a really powerful experience.